When you're investing in crypto and why I think it's so important to basically accumulate assets that are have real long-term potential to continue to grow and grow and grow is because once you get educated enough in crypto and you understand what DeFi is and why DeFi is just booming and booming, it's because they're allowing you to play the bank, right? So you take your money, that your hard-earned money that you've earned or investments that you've made, right? And you have these pile of crypto assets, doesn't matter what they are. You take those, you bring them over to a protocol, you stake them, you pair them with two assets so people can swap between them. So I might take Solana and I might take USDT. You pair them together and you become a liquidity provider. When you do that, you are going to get paid every time somebody wants to swap Solana for USDT because you are that liquidity provider. And now you get put into a pool, but based off of the amount that you contributed, you get your percentage of those rewards every time a swap is made. You are also then giving LP tokens. You can then take those LP tokens and you can go stake them on a protocol and that protocol radium, for example, will give you rewards in radium. Then because you have your assets staked there, if radium was a borrowing platform, you could then borrow against your assets. And the idea is to borrow a coin that has a really low borrow percentage, might be half a percent. Then you look around on the web and you find another protocol where you can actually take that asset and stake it and earn more than half a percent. A lot of times you can borrow for half, loan for five. Then you borrow it, you take it over there, you stake it on another protocol. You see where I'm going with this? So you start out with say 10,000, then you borrow five against that, you're getting rewarded on this 10,000, you're borrowing five against it, you're only paying a small percentage, you take that over to another protocol, you stake that five, and you pair it with another asset, now you're earning rewards on that 5,000. Then since you got 5,000 staked over there, you can now borrow 2,500 and you do the same thing. Next protocol, you end up turning 10,000 into like 20 or 30,000 by, by the time all is said and done, if you're really good at it. You have to be super educated, you have to really know what you're doing, so start small. So this is just going to be the tip of the iceberg. This is going to be how do we get set up just staking and earning rewards on radio. Let's dive deep. Radium is definitely probably one of my favorite decentralized exchanges. I just love how easy it is. The only downfall to Radium is how slow it is. Like a lot of times I have to come over here and I have to open up two browsers because if I launch the app here and I launch the app here, a lot of times when I'm in liquidities, like this is the fastest I've ever seen Radium respond. They must have updated something because this is so quick compared to whatever. But the first thing you want to do is you want to connect your Phantom Wallet. So make sure you got a phantom wallet. If you're live streaming, don't, you know, like this is my test wallet, right? You don't put all of your money online. You don't show everybody everything you got. Just keep, you know, just enough in there to get you going, whatever you want to do. But you can never tell out there, guys. And you can see that grape, I continue. And you guys saw my grape video. We're just losing money on grape, you know? So do I want to yield it? I don't know. If grape goes to 10 cents, I'm selling everything and taking a couple thousand dollar loss. It's just that simple. I'm, I'm done with that one. Pretty much you're going to either need Solana or you're going to need USDC. So the first thing I want to do is I want to swap some tokens. So I'm going to swap Solana for USDC. So just let's start off small. Let's just go one Solana for USDC. So now I'm going to hit review and I'm going to say agree and I'm going to swap and boom. Now I have USDC. I have Solana. Now we're going to come over to Radium. We're going to go to Farms, right? And we're just going to kind of look through here. What has the best API that seems safe that I want to basically, you know, hold on to and hodl, right? So since I have Tulip already, seems smart. Why would I not earn 43%? But is there any other Tulip pairs that maybe are a little better? There's Grape USDC. So that's paying 124%. So if I thought Grape was going to be a big long-term good play, I would now, and even though price is going down, I wouldn't sell my Grape. I would come over here, pair it, earn 124% on it. Well, let's just see what the best ROI is that we're looking at. Ooh, Larix over here, USDC Larix. So right now I'm dual yielding Larix and Ray. So if I click this drop down, in the last 24 hours, I've earned 21 Larix. Now they're only six cents a piece, but the idea is to compound it, right? So I'm going to harvest here. Now I have Larix in my account, right? I could also come over now because I have Larix as well. I could pair Larix with USDC and then start earning 167% rewards. I also earned 0.19, or I also earned a certain amount of Ray. So now, since I earned those, 
I come over to the liquidity tab. Now I want to be a liquidity provider. So Ray is the first coin. Larix is the second. And based off the amount of Ray that I earned, 0 0.05, right? Because they need to be equal amounts. So whatever you match up here, right, has to match this asset. So it looks like I need a little bit more Ray because I'm just going to leave my balance 239 Larix. I want to make sure that I compare those. So I'm going to come back up over here to make sure I have equal amounts. I have two Solana. I'm going to swap one Solana for 18 Radium. I'm going to review my order. I'm going to swap it. Raise received, right? And now it instantly, see how fast the Solana blockchain is? It's really so fast. So now if I come over here and I put max, I needed one point, I only needed 1.61 Radium to match that, right? So now 260 Larix equals 1.16 Radium. So I'm going to supply liquidity. I'm going to hit, oh, it, it, it failed. And every once in a while they'll fail. It's just weird. Transaction failed. Transaction's been sent. That's why I say sometimes it gets slow, sometimes it's a little bit laggy. I was hoping to see my radium balance depreciate so it could show me that. So now it says insignificant funds. So I now know that the transaction has taken place, right? So if I come over here, so you'll see unknown tokens right here. These are our LP tokens. So now what I want to do is I want to come back over here. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And because I just made that next pair, I have liquidity pool tokens. I can stake these, right? You can see now I have 75 liquidity pool tokens. Now I hit confirm, approve that transaction. And now what this is going to do is it's going to increase the amount that I'm actually staking over here. So see what I'm doing, I'm compounding it. So yesterday, if I was making 150% and I earned 25 Larix, well, now I'm going to make a little bit more the next day. And then the next day, right? I started this with like $340, maybe, maybe two weeks ago, tops two weeks ago. Maybe it wasn't even a week ago, really. So like, it's like, I'm earning so much money and I'm just compounding and compounding and compounding. Now you could also look through here and this is why everybody's talking about stable coins, like liquid, right? 250%. If you pair liquid and USDC or LIQ and USDC, here's LIQ and Ray. So here's another one, 250% for SPY and Ray. So these are huge opportunities to make a ton of money. So SPY, right? We must need SPY. So let's go up here back to our Phantom wallet and you don't see SPY over here. So what that means, we need to get some. And this is why I love Radium, right? Because I don't have to go anywhere else, right? I need a DEX, boom, right over here. So select the token. SYP, we're going to choose Solana. And I always want, because I got to pay fees, right? So you always want to make sure you leave a little bit of Solana. I just go one Solana equals 1,482 SPY. Boom, swap. Now it would be smart for me to understand what SYP is. But when I see these new coins come over here, what I've realized is I have the opportunity to farm and dump these. So I'm not acquiring SYP to hold it, right? I'm acquiring it to stake it and continue to yield farm it grow, compound my interest. And then if I decide a couple weeks from now, a month from now, that this is a smart long-term play, maybe I keep compounding it, or maybe I'm just farming and dumping it. You know, you guys have to make your own decisions. You guys need to have a strategy. You need to be smart about it, but come over here, get your feet wet, learn how things happen, learn how things work. So now we can come back over to the farm, right? Now we have liquid, liquid and Ray is paying bomb, but it's a dual yield, but it's not paying as much as SYP and Ray, and it's a dual yield. So. Let's go over here. So now we now we know what pair we need to be a liquidity provider for. So SYP and Ray LP. So I'm going to come over here. Right? I could do max and it's going to use up all of my Ray. I couldn't even cover it, right? So let's just do like let's just do 17 Ray and it'll eat up most of my supply right here. So I'm going to supply it. I'm going to approve it. Transaction has been sent. You got to wait for it to say transaction has been confirmed. Now we're going to come back over here. 
and we're gonna choose stake because I'm gonna be earning 251% APR. And you can see they've given me 1,569 coins, LP tokens, that I'm going to now stake over here and I will instantly begin earning rewards. It's pretty crazy how fast this will add up. And you can see right now I'm starting with $352, right? So what I need to do, like you can see in a few seconds, I've already earned 0.4 SYP and I've earned 0 0.0008 rate. You know, so it's not like it's gonna be crazy insane, but you're still making gains, guys. Like, and that's the name of the game. So, like, here's another one. I'm harvesting this one right here so I could harvest again. And now this is M N D E M Soul. And I'm earned and I have, and I'm up to $514. So, Radium Soul LP, I'm up to 605. I already have Atlas and Ray. So, again, since I still have some Radium left, I mean, I would be crazy not to come over here, throw my Atlas in here, max my Atlas, and then again, even though it's not much, right? I should obviously acquire more Ray if I can, but I just need to, you know, you gotta keep buying and buying and buying more tokens so you can do this with, but anytime your assets are just sitting here and they're not doing anything, why not supply them? Now you might have to worry a little bit about impermanent loss, but the idea is hopefully both assets move up together, both assets come down. You want them to kind of stay or just run sideways. So right now the Solana market seems like a, kind of just kind of running sideways like it does. So I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna see how it does. I'm not sure if this is like super smart because of impermanent loss. I know the smartest way to do it and safest way is to pair them with stable coins. But then you also take look at it in that aspect. If the stable coins, if your money's in stable coins and it's not continuing to gain value when other assets are gaining value, maybe it's not the smartest play. I'm not, like I said, I'm not an expert at this guys. But so now because I have them, I could come over here and stake it. Obviously it's not the like, not a ton of money, but still $24. Okay. So let's we'll start with Atlas and Ray. And I do have some Atlas USDC and this is paying 97%. So let's jump back over here one more time. They're perfect. I didn't even use all my USDC. So there we go. Supply approve. Come back over here to farm. Let's stake these bad boys. Max. Boom. Confirm. Now every day, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to harvest what I can. I'm going to try to send over more Solana so I can buy more USDC if I need it. And that's the thing is like, you're going to be making rewards, but then you also need more stable coins to continue to compound and compound. So like right now I started, I have 338 in Atlas USDC. And I think that that's a really safe one because I'm paired with a stable coin. So $338, 338. I wish I would have started tracking every single one from the very beginning, but I'm gonna to continue to update you guys. I'm gonna keep you guys posted on any changes or modifications I make, and we'll just document the journey together. Eventually, I wanna take and move these and unstake these and take and have all Solana, all USDT or USDC, I mean, and screw Tether. We couldn't pay me to hold on to Tether. I wanna move these over to a borrowing platform and I wanna start doing the same thing on a borrowing platform Then I wanna borrow and I wanna come back over to Radium. Heebie jeebies, that's weird. Um, and come over here and do the same thing. So I would have greatly appreciated if you guys could do me a huge favor and hit that like and hit that subscribe button and then come over and follow me over on my second YouTube shorts channel, which is where I will be live streaming the whole NYC NFT event if I can get a thousand subscribers because I need a thousand to stream from mobile. So if you guys could do me a favor and do that, hopefully I will be able to give you guys a lot of like inside tips like, hey, this NFT project is gonna boom or this is gonna do that because if I can't go live, then you guys just have to wait for me to edit the videos and put them out. And then in theory, you're gonna watch them at the same time, the other 50,000 subscribers watch them. And then you're gonna be chomping at the bit. But if you guys are sitting there backstage behind the scenes, and hopefully you guys will get some inside information or some heads up tips before everybody else gets them. I love you guys, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel. Again, my name is Ryan Mehta, and I'll catch you guys in NYC.